gents and ladies. Today there's going to be lots of bangs and flashes because I want to double the output of this uh, capacitor there, known as my Thunderbox. But the problem is I've only got one microwave oven transformer. And we need to fix that because I badly need two to get up to as close as 5,000 volts as possible. I ain't having it. I will get that 5kb. Just what the doctor ordered. Well, I never did like that microwave anyway. I've got a beer on the go, in the name of science, because when it's empty, we're going to crush it with a couple of thousand joules. That's just what we want. Anyway, we've got two transformers now, so close to 5kV. I'll show you what I've done. Right, here's our two transformers. Obviously it's important to get the primaries in phase, because if you get these the wrong way round, one will cancel each other out. So basically, um, you know, they're in parallel there. That's the primaries, and the secondaries... Um, negative on this is our low side of the HT. HT of this one goes into the low side, i.e. the chassis on this transformer, and the output of this is uh, the high side. So we should have 4,000 volts or so. Um, let's see if we get a nice arc, shall we? Right, quick test on the transformers just to make sure we've got an output. Looks good. Now we're going to change that to DC and stuff it into that capacitor. I just knocked my beer over. That's just as well, isn't it? Because you don't want too much of that playing about with high voltage. That's silly. Right, it's a little bit of improvement on that so, capacitor. Nice big fat leads. Nice short in bar. Take that off. There's our input. That's the uh, Positive side, which you probably wouldn't want to touch. Right, we're going to uh, charge it up using the big boy supply. Now, when the current drops right down, we know that's charged. Let's give that a go. Right, that current dropped off quite quick, which would indicate that capacitor has now charged. We give it a little short. See what we get. Much bigger bang. I felt the shock wave from that one. Now I'm happy. Oof. I think we'll have some more of that. Right, capacitor's charged. Pretty quick. Oof. Another one. It's charged. That's much better. Now boys, the good news is, all this stuff here is to be destroyed with that capacitor. I want to see if we can pop these fuses, light bulbs, fluorescent tubes, potatoes, magnesium. I want to connect it up to the fly killer. We've got a coffee cup warmer and a toaster. A couple of speakers, oh and of course, can crusher. But I need to drink the beer first. So all of that, we're going to have a bit of fun with. Well, this fuse has got a rupture current of 80,000 amps. I want to see if we can make it burst. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Let's give it a go. Absolutely annihilated it. Bits of it everywhere. Well, that there is the end cap. 
Um, I don't know where the rest of it went, to be honest. I found that bit on the floor. But we know we've got more than 80,000 amps to rupture that fuse. I'm happy with that. Right, this is a different type of uh, fuse. Just got some lugs on it. It's rated at 32 amps for normal use. And the rupture current, again, is 80,000 amps. So, uh, hopefully, we'll see if we can pop this one as well, eh? Right, safety gear's on. I'm behind my little blast screen. Peering for a little hole. I might misjudge where it is. And off we go. Wow. That's impressive. Nothing left of it. I'm going to try and do this one uh, slow motion for you, but don't hold your breath because this camera's fucking shit for that. Come on, it'd be rude not to, wouldn't it, eh? <laughs> oh, I've got to have that on slow mo. Bang, and it was gone. Right, this is a uh, electric coffee cup warmer, five kV. I popped it. <laughs> right, quick test on the uh, potato. <laughs> Fuck that. See, that's what will happen if you touched it. That's just obliterated. Ah, I've got potato all over me. See, I reckon that camera right's got some sort of uh, attenuator on the mic because it really don't sound that loud when you play it back. Yet in this room, it is quite loud. So I've just charged this right up and I will get a test on it. That's quite a thud actually. Shakes the house. Well, I'm more than happy with that. We've obviously got more than 80,000 amps and just over 4,000 volts. That's a lot of energy and I'm having a bit too much fun. I promised you guys I'd build a can crusher. I've almost drunk some of it. Anyway, most of it's on the floor. I will wrap some wire around this can and dump a couple of million watts through it and see what happens. Probably got a bit too much, it'll probably just split the can in half. Well boys, I wouldn't want to disappoint. If it'll fit on the end of this video, I will squeeze it in there for you. Here goes. 80,000 amps, 5,000 volts. Ah, it's splitting half. Too much power. Let's have a look at it. Ah, uh, we popped it! Big time! Um, but I'm happy. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys later. <laughs>